This is my first folding knife. I made every single piece of it using my new Elgo Laser Delta. And I think it turned out pretty cool, so I'm giving it away to one of you. If you want to find out how to win this thing, stay till the end. So this is the new Elgo Laser Delta, and it came out today actually. They reached out for a review ready for its release, so I've already had about a month to play around with it. It's a 22 watt diode laser that has more features than my stick welds have inclusions, and I'll throw some on screen here, but these are my favorites. A touchscreen that actually works. I know it seems minute, but it's refreshing to see a responsive interface on a machine like this. It also got a lens cleaning reminder, flame detection, RGB lighting, very important, air pressure monitoring, instant image engraving, an emergency button, and of course the centerpiece of this machine, RGB light. The 22 watt laser. It's pretty strong and can cut a lot of things in a single pass, but most importantly for me at least, it can easily mark metal and even color engrave. I mean, how cool is this? So let's see what we can do with this. After one morning of getting to know Lightburn and doing some test cuts, which turned out better than I was expecting, I started working on the folder parts. It definitely took some iterations, but I ended up with a design I really liked. So let's move on to metal. Okay, wait, so how did we get here? This is what the image looks like in Lightburn. I drew the serpent in Affinity Designer and imported it as a vector image. And in Lightburn, you can now select the lines and group them. And most importantly, you have to decide whether it's a line you're making or if the area will be filled. And for each of these groups or layers, you can now decide the laser settings. This is also what creates the different colors. What color is what setting? Well you have to find that out yourself, which can be a little bit tedious as the finish, thickness and material used all change the outcome. This is where the 10 billion squares you saw earlier come in. It takes a lot of time to set everything up, but now you can accurately repeat the operation every time. It took me a couple days of trial and error, but now I can engrave these scales in just 15 minutes. It was actually meant to look like this and yeah <laughs> now it's like this so it seems like I have to redo this latch again Okay, fresh out the oven, tempering is done and you can see we've got a nice and delicious golden brown right here. So the next step is to put this together and then we can do the final shaping. Okay, the knife is done, but I can't send it like this and thankfully I don't have to. I jumped on makercase.com and created a custom box, imported that into Lightburn and added some decoration and now we've got a custom fitted case for it. I went ahead and laser cut these foam inserts as well so nothing rattles around and the serpent prototype was done.
Okay, so regarding the knife, I'm not going to act like everything worked out perfectly. You know, I like to show my failures as well. And there's definitely a lot that I can approve with this. You can hear this. A little bit of rattle. So I have to improve this with the final version. I really don't like when the knife can close itself. This was the main reason I made a backlog. And actually I uh, have to change the angle of the locking mechanism because as of right now, if you apply some pressure right at the tip, you can actually fold it. But yeah, I mean, it's a prototype. So I'm not, I don't want to act like I get it right the first time. So yeah, I wouldn't sell this but I think as a gift for getting a cool machine and helping out my channel, I think I wouldn't say no to this. Okay, so how do you win this thing? Algo Laser provided me with an affiliate link. I'll get a small commission, which really helps to keep the lights on. If you buy this machine through my link, I'll get an email with the order number. I'm running the giveaway all the way until December 1st where I'll be going through the order numbers and randomly picking one of them. Then Algolaser will provide me with the contact information. So I decided for December 1st because I thought this is a pretty big expense. So you, you've got some time to think about it and maybe save up a little bit if you want to own this knife, <laughs> as well as a fantastic machine. Oh yeah, almost forgot. You can enter this giveaway worldwide. And because I get a commission from your purchase, I'll be paying for all the shipping costs. You don't have to worry about this uh, racking up a whole lot of shipping costs. I'll just cover that. Thanks to Algo Laser for sponsoring this video. And I'll catch you in the next one.